gone are those days when we used to think that biology only leads to a medical profession that is doctor then came the era of biotechnology that is something which you already know and today as i stand in 2024 we have transitioned to bio it where we are now accelerating the research so let us take example of a very simple fund our fact and we will call it as a car right so car if it has got brakes and accelerator and gears without accelerator the car cannot move forward faster right the same way bio it is the accelerator of the biotech or biological research and today in this class we are going to understand the scope of bio it this is the first class and then once the time uh, is over we'll resume in the second class so today we are going to talk about scope of bio it and we will try to bust that myth that there is no scope in biology instead i'm here to tell you that bio it is actually growing faster than the medical profession also first i'll give you a brief introduction about bioinformatics then we will move on to its importance in biological research followed by that we'll be talking about the key areas where it can be applied and then if time permits then we'll go for technological advances challenges and solutions future prospects case studies and what not so all of this we are going to discuss today but before we get started you have to have a clear mind please don't carry all your uh, baggage of the biological research here because things are going to get real fast in this class right so let's first understand what is bioinformatics now as we call it bioinformatics is nothing but where we apply computers or computing technology to manage and analyze growing repository of data now first we understand from where this data is coming now this data is actually coming from wet lab only okay so once the scientist has done the research he will get the readings right and that readings if it is 2 or 3 or 5 or 10 or 100 it can be analyzed through your uh, clear eyes naked eyes but if in case you need a uh, little more help than you can always or scientists used to uh, go and use excel right scientists used to use excel right so but now the world has changed even excel cannot handle so much of data so then now we are going to use bioinformatics tools which will use the computing technology to understand this molecular biology data right so all this biological processes whatever data is being generated bioinformatics will help us understand analyze interpret and come to a conclusion right now what is the importance of bioinformatics now more or less bioinformatics can be used in almost every setting of biotechnology but to broadly divide it we call it as research and development so we can use bioinformatics in r and d so the scientist has worked in the wet lab he has got the data he will give it to the bioinformatician he will analyze and then he will give back the data back to the scientist so this is how the research and development works now the next part will be obviously existing data sets it's not that the data set which is which is being generated by the wet lab existing data sets also can be analyzed in multiple ways by filtering multiple criterias by feeding in multiple algorithms and logics and that is where data analysis and interpretation will come into picture now followed by that then we will have precision medicine now basically drug discovery is a very important aspect where bioinformatics is being used now precision medicine is the final destination of the drug discovery process now if you see right now you have pain in the body so you will take paracetamol 500 mg now somebody else has pain he will also take paracetamol but our bodies are different every person in this world is different their genetic makeup is different and especially when it comes to cancer or neurodegenerative diseases that is where you need precision medicine so now drug companies could not create precision medicine without bioinformatics earlier but now they can create precision medicine using bioinformatics ai ml and a lot of new things which are coming up in bioinformatics itself so there are more than 21 tools which you will be learning today right um after this class in our next classes with our 
internship uh, scientist so they will be coming online and training you today is the first class so i'm just giving you a brief introduction so research and development data analysis and interpretation and finally into precision medicine we can use the bioinformatics tools and techniques now let's move quickly forward what more we can learn so the applications of bioinformatics now will be in genomics and proteomics so we have a lot of genomics data proteomics data which is being generated we call it as omics overall then we also use it in drug discovery and development this is the biggest challenge humanity faces today because bacteria viruses are mutating at breakneck neck speed we need more medicines at a faster pace that is where bioinformatics comes into picture now you look at agricultural biotechnology the challenge which we are facing here is we have environmental change climate change and at the same time pests both can be addressed with agricultural biotechnology and then of course environmental biotechnology we can use bioinformatics to do the monitoring to to do the data analysis and come to a conclusion and of course in public health you have seen the uh role of bioinformatics during the covid pandemic epidemiology as well as um va uh, virology vaccine design we saw bioinformatics being used in fact one of the indian uh one of the biotechnica subscriber his name is mihir created the moderna vaccine where he uh, used the uh, bioinformatics tools to design the mrna virus and that was given to the patients and there was the fastest approval because there was no viral particle because it was generated through the bioinformatics and there was no viral particle so we basically reverse engineered the sequence of the dna of the virus and we created this so this is all about the applications now uh, we will resume this in the next uh, session where we will be trying to understand the further applications and impacts of bioinformatics and after this uh, since this class will continue so the next uh, teacher will come and join and guide you on the rest of the tools which we are going to learn and they will explain you about the curriculum right so this is all about the first session thank you now let's jump in and find out what more we can do with bioinformatics now first things first like i have already told you that advancement in bioinformatics is very fast it is not like biotech where it takes 10 years to uh, come up with a new thing but in uh, bioinformatics you have new advancements coming up almost every day now for example high throughput sequencing technology next is machine learning and artificial intelligence in bioinformatics and third is cloud computing and big data analytics now let me explain each of them in detail for you so high throughput sequencing technologies are helping us sequence data at a enormous scale and that leads to bigger data now now big data we are generating now that big data we have cloud computing now so we can combine the power of computers and we have more computational power and now we can analyze that data so that is big data analytics now machine learning and ai in bioinformatics you will be amazed to know the other day i was looking at 30 dollars i can have a machine which can do the machine learning and ai for bioinformatics in 30 dollars so that is the kind of advancements which we are seeing in the bioinformatics era it is getting cheaper by the day now it, the more it cheaper it gets the more adoption it will see in the near future in biotech companies and that is where we will see more employment getting generated by bioinformatics than any other field now let me explain that before i get to this slide now now first things first like i just now said it is going to be a mass employment generator right mass employment generator what what do i mean by that so for example if i have to host or if i if i want to work with 10 scientists then i need a lab of at least 10 crores investment right but if i want to work with 10 by information i need 10 laptops that's it so what is happening now is all the established biotech companies pharma companies are hiring more bioinformaticians and they all need just a laptop and a couple of open source softwares right now the number of open source softwares is only 21 plus there is one more schrodinger which comes around say 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs it goes up to a crore also based on the requirement so these are the softwares which these bioinformaticians will use to analyze data so it is cheaper now 
right so we our companies can do more in less time that is why it is going to be a employment generator now let's come at, come at the challenges and solutions which we are looking at the biggest challenge which we are going to face is not related to bioinformatics but with storage like where do you save petabytes of storage like you even google drive won't support that right so next is standardization and interoperability so connections and to the ability to be able to look at the data and find out what is the connection between uh, a data generated by a different experiment and this experiment in two different conditions that is going to be a challenge then of course ethical and privacy concerns because we are handling data of people right it is the people and their genomics data their proteomics data all of that we are handling so that is where challenges will always be there ethical concerns will always be there but that doesn't mean that this industry is not going to grow unlike other fields like genetics you have more ethical concern here the ethical concern is lesser now let's look at another aspect which is the future scope which obviously you would be interested in like i said it is a mass employment generator now the future is of ai right bioinformatics is also going towards ai and they are going to use bioinformatics ai and machine learning to advance personalized medicine this is one area which we we are going to see lot of newer innovations happening the second will be integration with other omics technology like proteomics genomics metabolomics and all of that and then expansion into non health issues not just uh, we are right now applying bioinformatics only into the health sectors we will be able to apply into non health sectors like agriculture or environmental bio technology so that is where we come to a conclusion now let's look at some of the case studies which has been successfully done we have been able to use bioinformatics in identifying cancer biomarkers now that is amazing data for us so it is very easy nowadays to find out cancer biomarkers using bioinformatics then we have also developed personalized medicine approaches based on genetic data analysis for cancer again and for various neurodegenerative disorders we have seen this followed by that we will we are able to effectively integrate bioinformatics tools in discovery drug discovery pipeline so again that is another aspect we are able to now uh, you know screen through more molecules than earlier and that is happening today and then we are seeing the collaboration projects like hapmap project where all the bioinformaticians are coming together and collaborating to find a, a solution to various problems so that is where we are currently looking at a revolution which is bigger than the it revolution eventually all the engineers all the biotechnologists are going to come together and work here but imagine if you are the first mover in this market bioinformatics is going to be a game changer but you are going to be a game changer for your own career so my conclusion for you would be very simple if you opt and learn bioinformatics if you take training of bioinformatics in uh, biotechnica it is going to be a huge game changer for you recently one of our student qualified gate and then she went for interview she was not asked questions from core, core biotech but she also had formal training of bioinformatics from biotechnica she was asked more questions about bioinformatics because obviously that is the future where iits are also hiring so you can see bioinformatics is merging biology computer science and mathematics to analyze data it is helping accelerate the discovery of drugs it is helping us enhance data analysis and then it is supporting precision medicine genomics and drug discovery and high throughput sequencing and of course ai when we combine all of that we are looking at a revolution and i want you to be a part of this revolution and that's why i'm saying we have our next month bioinformatics training uh, internship starting link is given in the description check it out and join us today so that we can help you become a part of this revolution which will help you move forward in your career and get jobs easily in the biotech sector thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye